and welcome to What's Cooking. I'm Ann Hollowell, and here with me today is a very special guest, Ernesto Paras Jr. And I love the apron, yeah. Ernesto Philippines Rock. Philippines. <laughs> <laughs> you're from the Philippines. Yes, I am. You're here working in the States, working in Mississippi, mm -hmm. and you're a physical therapist. Yes, is that I right? Am. How wonderful. Thank you so much. And you also, he is a fabulous cook, and he has been cooking on Delta Daybreak here with us for several, several months. And I'm so excited that you're going to be here with me today. I'm so excited, too. Well, thank you. Yeah. And, and you're going to make something really, really special that's in your home country. And that's tell right. Me, tell me what we're making today. This is what we call um, kare kare. Okay. Yeah. And what is it? Because it's, um, it kind of originated from a curry. You know, curry, and which then, is? But, but this is like a peanut butter, peanut butter sauce. So okay. Like beef oxtail stewed in Ooh. peanut butter sauce. So tell me how we're going to get started today. Uh, okay. Well, I want to rock with the yeah. Philippines. <laughs> sure, yes, definitely. Right here, I already preheated this okay. stock pot and the pan on the wok, I mean. Wok. And I put it already like in the high heat. Okay. High heat like that. Okay. First, we're just going to start first with the stock pot. Okay. Here, let me have that and I'll Thank put you. that out of the way for you. Just pop him right here. Right. Okay. Yeah. Now we now. need. I need the oxtail. These okay. oxtails are beef oxtail. I already uh, parboiled them at Ooh. home, and, and they, they look yeah. good and they smell good already That's too. That's right. And this is about this is about four to five, four and a half pounds. Okay. You need like four to f four and a half pounds of beef oxtail, or to five pounds if you can. Okay. So I Have just put you them. seasoned this already uh, with no. anything? No. Nothing. It just has that good beefy smell. Already. I oh, just, that's wonderful. I already removed some fat. Okay. Because I'm not really big fan of those white fats. Okay. But of course. Because you're you a know, little skinny person. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. We want to be kind of a little healthy over here. Well, it's, you have so many good vegetables uh, and other things uh, we're adding in here. have that for you. And this is the, okay. you know, the stock pot right here going on. And Ooh. of course, to soften this up, I just want to try to kind of separate them up really, a little really bit. Good. Like that, because I already boiled them or tenderized them, you know, mm -hmm. using my stock pot. Ooh. But if you have a pressure cooker, it's going to be a little easier okay. and faster for you too. Now, I'm going to put about seven cups of that water. Okay. All right. We're going to start adding some ingredients. We're going to be back after the break. You better come see what's cooking right here on our show with Ernesto Paras from the Philippines. We're rocking. Hi, welcome back to What's Cooking. Ann Hollowell here with my wonderful guest, Ernesto Paras Jr. And we're making kari kari, which is oxtail beef oxtail. Mm -hmm. Very exotic and beef. already mm -hmm. smelling wonderful. Real quick, yes. this is what we've done. You had parboiled your mm -hmm. oxtail and you've added seven cups of water. So mm -hmm. tell me what we're going to do now. All right. Now we're going to put now the one, one minced onion. Okay. Yeah. Now you've done so much wonderful <laughs> prep work and everything. Yes. And these um, are these yes. fabulous purple onions. Is that a cup? Mm -hmm. uh, this Maybe is a, a cup? Um, well, this is just one medium onion. One medium onion. Okay. One medium onion, and okay. I minced it. And our recipe is posted on our website, wxvt.com, so don't worry about missing any of the ingredients. You can go to the website, and there it's going to be. Ernesto was kind enough to send everything in advance yeah. to us, so you, you can make this delicious yeah. exotic dish at home. Okay, what else do we need to do? And while this is already over here like this, mm -hmm. we need to pour here about one teaspoon of um, salt. You need salt? Okay. One teaspoon of Here, salt. Here, got you yeah. a measuring mm -hmm. thing. And yeah. then we have pepper. I think you said you'd need some pepper also, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, so we've got so. that. Now, at some point oh, in time... Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, it's one tablespoon of salt. One tablespoon? Yeah. Oh, I'm yeah. sorry. And, you know, one tablespoon is about two teaspoons, right? Three. Oh, three, three. Three. Yeah. Uh-huh. Two. And, uh... And then three. three. Okay. And then the one teaspoon, one teaspoon. of ground black pepper. Okay, yeah. we have that ready for you. Now, yeah. I know we're going to add peanut butter to a wonderful... Do I need to start maybe getting a cup of this out for yes, us? Yes, please. Yeah, okay, uh, oh, that's cup. great. I'm really excited about this because this is, like I said, so different yeah. from anything that I've had right. before. And I want to make sure that I get all the ingredients correct for you. So many fresh things that I see here. Some fabulous green beans. And then tell me what's in this pretty bowl right now. Yeah. The, um, those are bok choys. You know, I already quartered each. Oh, know, each okay. Piece because we don't want it to be too long. Or whatsoever. Okay. Right. And this yeah. is already in high heat. Okay. You know, this um, stock pot in high heat. 
So okay. this needs just to be kind of a little bit simmered for about 30 to 45 minutes. Okay. But since I already kind of fully tenderized the beef oxtail earlier mm -hmm. and the beef tripe, we need to always, we just need to wait for about 30 minutes. Okay. And right now we're ready to put now the beef tripe. Okay. The beef tripe is just, is also, you know, health, you know, kind of healthy for us, but don't eat too much of this. <laughs> <laughs> I already tenderized this. Okay. Yeah. You've cooked that too. Like I said, he did, he did so many uh, wonderful prep jobs for us already. I've got one thing of peanut butter there for us. And then, now that is going to simmer mm -hmm. for just a little bit. Yeah, for just a little bit. Okay. Yeah, about 30 minutes. All right. Yeah, maybe less. Okay. Yeah. And while this is busy simmering like this, okay. the, the wok is already under high heat. Okay. If you don't have a wok, you can just use a pan. Okay, yeah, just okay. some some kind of needs to be a little deep like this, maybe. Yeah, or it, uh, even not this deep. Even okay, a little bit, just a little you know, bit, maybe yeah. more shallow. Yeah, more shallow or something. Now you're gonna yeah. toast. I'm gonna toast the one fourth cup of rice. Okay, all right, but there's no oil or anything. No oil in or here. anything. Okay, but I'll need to keep moving it so that it won't get too much toasted. Okay, and that just gives a really rich flavor to everything. Rich flavor and thickness for the oh, okay. for the soup okay. for the sauce. Yeah. All right, but so. absolutely no oil. Now I know that we have yes. some olive oil sitting out here, but we're yeah. probably going to get to that in just mm -hmm. a little bit. All right, is there anything that I can help you um, with? Maybe now we need to chop um, this already. This okay um, eggplant. All right, now yeah. you have already cleaned yeah. this very well. I'm going to take the top well. off. Yes, please. Okay. Yeah. Now I think you said what we're going to do is just go down. Go down like that. Okay. I like and to be able to help do what I'm told to do. <laughs> That's, okay. that's right. All right. And then the other the same way. The other the same way. Okay. And then we want diagonal fashion over here. Like each piece like this, we want just to, for them to end up into diagonals. Okay. Yeah, so, like all right, can I go like this? Oh, you can go like that. Is and that then okay? About one inch thick. One inch. Okay. Yeah, you you don't need to be exact. <laughs> it's just a bit around like that. Very good. Okay. I love to do this. Very nice. All right. Okay. Now, this is going to go into our stock pot. Correct. Okay. All right. And I noticed, like you said, we have bok choy, and then we've got some wonderful. I mean, this one will go to the wok. Oh, one will first, go to the wok. And layer on to the top. Wok. Oh, okay. Yeah. That kind of gives it a little maybe crispness mm -hmm. or yes. something. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very good. Well, I love eggplant, and it's it's something that I I didn't know that you would. Of course, I didn't know a whole lot about Filipino <laughs> cooking at yeah. all. So that's why I'm excited to have you here today. Learn something new because you have a lot of uh, eggplant and a lot of Italian food mm -hmm. and Mediterranean yeah. dishes. And you and know, everything. Philippines had been uh, inspired by lots of um, uh, other countries. That's S right. Spain, because you Spain kind of, you do you have a very States, yeah. you have a very diverse culture, yeah. don't you? A lot of influences. Absolutely. You've been influenced by different countries, even China. Right. Yeah. That's the walk and everything. Am I doing this okay to suit you, my dear? Yeah. I hope so. And right now, I'm going to turn off this. Okay. Um, already. Are we, we toasted have, enough? You and think? It's kind of toasted enough. Okay. I just need to put them, put them all together, right? In all a right. Certain bowl like this. Yeah, like that. Okay. We've got that going, mm -hmm. and we've toasted, and it's not very dark. You see, just a little bit just of brown little on bit. there. Let's yeah. see if I can get out of the way for you. Just a little bit, starting to turn brown, and you mm -hmm. really can smell kind of enrich the flavor and, right. and the, the aroma of it. I say but just very very light brown. so we need to use this a little bit later on okay for the stock pot all right yeah. but right now what can i get kinda, for you we're kind of ready now to get about three tablespoons of olive oil okay we're going to get olive oil going in here and then it, all of this is going to go in um in or in half in of in it in all of it but all but, of it but not the first ones okay <laughs> <laughs> yeah so we need to put about three tablespoons of olive oil okay all right this is looking good. One. Uh huh. Two. Oh, and just the smell of that is three. wonderful. I love how. Oh, just it smells so sweet. Yep. Just very, very sweet. Here, I'll Can get you that close for it you. For me, please? Sure. Okay, thank, thank you. Thank you. Now, it looks like it's gonna a little bit hot right now. Uh huh. We're gonna put now about the. We need to. Can you mince this for me, please? Yes. Yeah, the okay. Garlic. We have three cloves of garlic. Sure, yeah, okay. Yeah. And we need to wait for this to get a little bit hot first as okay. we mince first the garlic. That's the yeah. kind of the walk. Now, yeah. if I don't, all right. And we have three cloves you mm -hmm. here. 
and I'm hurrying to help you here. So don't All right? be careful. So we're going to come back yeah. after the break. We're going to put our, our wonderful garlic and eggplant in the water. Come back and see what's cooking with me and with Ernesto yeah, Perez right. and the Philippines Rock. We'll see you after the break. Hi, welcome back to What's Cooking. I'm Ann Hollowell here with my guest, Ernesto Paras Jr. And we are cooking Kari Kari, which kari is kari. Beef, beef oxtail. Yeah. And we're going to rock and roll here. Yes. We've chopped some garlic. You've yeah. had some olive oil. Yeah. Are you ready for me, yes, my dear? Please. Okay. Yeah. Great. Yeah, this is about three cloves of minced garlic. Okay. And of course, we are under high heat, just making sure. Okay. Now, we need the onions this time. All right. I have some more. This is another. Mm -hmm. You've already chopped yeah. this. Another medium yeah, purple minced. onion. Oh, this mm -hmm. is so good. Ready for this that? Is one medium onion minced. All right, now did I get this small enough for you? Do yes, I need to that's cut that? fabulous. Okay, good. Yeah, oh, I did something size. right. <laughs> yeah, oh, everything is right. Okay, yeah. that out of the way for yeah. you. Yeah, I'm yeah. excited because it's so many familiar items. Something that we're not used to, or right. I'm not used to, yes. which is the yeah. oxtail, and I'm really excited yeah. to try that. Oh, yeah, definitely. So it smells so yeah. good. You could use also other kinds of different meats, you know, but oxtail will give us the best flavor. The best flavor. Well, yeah. it's mainly because the bone is in there, mm -hmm. and then yeah. all everything that kind of comes right. out of the bone. And this time we need to uh, saute these green beans that are fre fresh green beans, and oh, I already cut, I cut them already in two to three inches long. Yeah. And this just needs and to be I sauteed. <laughs> it just needs to be sauteed for about two to three minutes, guys. Okay. We just need to get this a little bit um, wet and sweating a little bit. But they're so beautiful and so bright. Yeah. Now they're still going to have a little bit of a crunch factor to it. Yeah. Because okay. we don't want to spend too much time cooking all this because okay. we want to preserve the nutrients. Good. And also okay. the, the chunkiness or crispiness of this vegetable. Oh, I like that. I really like yeah. that. And then we're going to add here in a minute. Mm -hmm. Our do we add this next? Uh, our eggplant. Um, maybe about uh, after a minute. Okay, yeah. we we'll let that saute. Yeah. Now I'm smelling how wonderful uh, this smells. Right. And we need oh to check also what's going on over here. Okay. Yeah. Since this is boiling already now, we'll mm. need to. Yeah, this needs to be a little bit lower, just so okay. that we call it simmered. Okay. Yeah, it's simmered like that. Yeah, to you know, medium high heat. Medium high. Medium high. All right, and then we're that's going to be going another minute or so. Then eggplant's going in. Then yeah. all this beautiful green bok choy. Mm -hmm. Now that's this, the finale. Yeah. That is that's the, oh, the finale okay. for the wall. I'm intrigued because you use just the greens off of it and not the root part. R right. So yeah. I'm all, I always thought of okay, bok choy. You could, you could use also the root part. Oh, you can. Whatsoever. Okay. It's just that that um, I just uh, I didn't have <laughs> enough time, you know, washing them whatsoever. Oh, yeah. but it just I'm. They're I'm optional. And now we're ready now for the eggplants. Okay. All right. Can I yeah. do that for you? Oh, yes, please. Okay. Yeah. Put it all together like that. Oh, did I go through? Yes, sir. Very I did. good. Okay. Doing great. All right. I'm coming. There you go. Just take your time. That Doing is great. just. I'm an eggplant lover. <laughs> do you ever do them on the grill? Do you ever do a little <laughs> eggplant on the grill, maybe? Um, I guess that would work, too. Mm hmm. Give it an um, extra little zest or whatever. Sometimes mm -hmm. that's wonderful. And but now. That just smells so good. That's great. And now I need about one teaspoon of ground black pepper, one teaspoon of salt. Okay. And Here's that salt and pepper again. Yes, very good. All right. Okay, we got that. Salt, okay. one teaspoon of salt. Okay. Ernesto, this is just smelling That's so right. good. Okay, one teaspoon of salt. Okay. And about one teaspoon of ground and black your pepper. pepper. Okay. Okay. I haven't cooked this in Delta Daybreak yet, so maybe in December. <laughs> so you're the first. I'm <laughs> glad I'm the first. Yeah. I better be the first. <laughs> yeah, it gives us some great yeah. time yeah. to have And also, this. I have here already prepared one half cup of oh. water. Okay. In it like goes. Kind of helps with the I, veg. I put the water so that the steam will kind of help, you know, the okay. vegetables get a little bit cooked a little bit. All right. And we need just to stir them a little bit like this. So that now the eggplant. I'm, I'm over here with this peanut butter. <laughs> and don't worry about the vegetables <laughs> being uh, kind of undercooked over here in the wok because they still will go to the stock pot a little bit oh, later okay. on. Oh, okay. That's uh. wonderful. Right, like that. Great and flavors, also, great textures, and really the greatest aroma. Smelling so good. And right now, so the, remember guys, the, the green beans need to be kind of sauteed here for about three minutes. Mm -hmm. And also the eggplants about two minutes. 
Okay. If you know, if you have time. Yes, they're getting a great shot of that. Look how pretty. That's great. And right now, we're going to put now the bok choy. Okay. Now, do we need? Are, are you going to tear this, or uh, does it this go already, in? This is already cut. That's, that's the size so, that it so needs to be. So, if you have be. a very long stem, uh, long stem like this, you mm -hmm. might want to just cut off the roots and quarter the rest. Okay. Yeah. So but if but if you want to, you know, something have fun with the roots or whatever, mm -hmm. you can still cook them. It's just that um, this is what just I need. Okay. Yeah, that, <laughs> but that looks beautiful. Yeah. That looks so pretty. So I usually just put the bok choy bok choy on the top. Okay because we don't want to steer the bok choy until it gets soft first. Okay. Like this. Oh, man. And of course, guys, we have to be careful about the vegetables. They need to be cleaned first. Really Absolutely. Washed. Well, you've done a great your, job. You've washed hands. everything. Yeah, and your you've hands. washed and, everything. And my hands, too. <laughs> I have washed my hands really well before I got in this station. We both do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And that's fabulous. That's Here, let me get yeah. this out of the way for you. Okay. Very good. Now, what do we add yeah. next? Okay. While this is being right here, mm -hmm. we just have to cover this first. Okay, it's going to steam a little bit, mm -hmm. so to speak. For about, okay. you know, for about three minutes. Okay. Yeah, three to five minutes, but for sure three minutes is fine. So this is already under medium high heat this time. Okay. So from high heat with sauteing, we mm -hmm. need to put them in medium high, like that. All right. So okay. both of them, both yeah. of them are kind of medium, medium high heat right now. Right now. Yeah. Going. That's okay. right. And right now, let's check first what's going on with this. Oh, gosh. Just smelling so wonderful. Just, That's I mean, yeah. what a great aroma. I keep saying that, but it's just mm -hmm. so true. It's just you can have a little bit of the onion smell mm -hmm. and going. And it's been like about, about 30 minutes with this, mm -hmm. and we're now ready to put the peanut butter. Oh, okay. Yeah, peanut butter. Now, this is something different. We're going to be back after the break. Mm -hmm. We'll see you guys back here on What's Cooking. We're going to have the best time, and we're going to finish this up, and you're going to enjoy Curry Curry. Yeah. See you back. Promotional consideration provided by Le Creuset. Good food deserves Le Creuset. Hi, welcome back to What's yeah. Cooking. I'm here with Ernesto mm -hmm. Peraz, my wonderful guest today. And we've made yeah. kari, kari kari. And everything's everything. come together. Yeah. The wok we've is gone, and I yes. put all the ingredients, all the vegetables inside in this wok. And of course, we added two cups of peanut butter earlier, too, and that mm -hmm. to those toasted rice. And also this um, achuere mixed with one tablespoon of oil. Now, you said achuere. you got this. Now, yeah. tell me what this is. Is, um, it, is, is it, it? This is kind of like. Um, is it like a little yeah, chili, maybe? Like for color. Just for, for color. Just now for you color. bought this on the internet, right? Yes, I put this on the internet. The, so it is just optional, though. Okay. It's just optional. But it gave it a beautiful color yeah. and everything. The website will will tell you all. Where so to go I, and what yeah. to do. All and right. Now yeah, let's kind of start plating. How about a little bit of rice? Can you put some rice over there? Mm -hmm. Right there. Let's do a little bit of mm -hmm. rice here. And you work with the rice. Put rice on the plate on both on of the them. On the plate. Oh, yeah, okay. On both of them. All right. And I'm going to use the ladle to use get. My, use my fingers. This stuffs right here. Okay, I didn't know if you served this over the rice or not. So that's okay. I'm gonna give you yeah. that bowl. We're plating up. It smells wonderful, y'all. It is absolutely just the best smell you've ever had in your life. And I think we've had the most fun doing something entirely different, something that I've never had. I know you probably never had, and it is going to be delicious. Now save some for yourself, mm -hmm. dear. Okay. Look at the green beans, the color, how wonderful. Here you go. Yeah, That's like enough. That. Okay, great. Yes. Yeah. You oh, see all the ingredients going on over there. That is just beautiful. Is there a yeah. shot? Yes. Beautiful green beans. You can see the beef. You can see all the wonderful right. eggplant and everything. And it just smells wonderful. Yeah. And that beautiful base mm -hmm. of the peanut and, butter. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you might want to just get a little bit of a, about, about one teaspoon of bagong. Okay, now what is it. that? It's just a little bit of a kick. Okay. And it's a sauteed shrimp paste. Okay. It's, it's also optional. Okay. Now here's a bowl for you. Yeah, for me. Yes, absolutely. And we're going to taste test this here in just a second. Oh my gosh. I'm digging in. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm going to be up here. Yeah, you're really <laughs> going to have fun over here. And I first want to have just a little bite. I have to have yeah. a bite, and I know it's hot. But this wonderful eggplant, it's one of my favorite things. Mm -hmm. And all that fabulous peanut right. sauce. Something there for you, my mm -hmm. dear. Right. Mm. Mm. Let's try it. Mm. That is so good. 
Oh, fabulous. Mm-hmm. Ernesto, mm. how good is that? Wow. Absolutely fabulous. fantastic. All the flavors are we here. We want to say thank you to Ernesto, mm -hmm. the Philippines do rock. Mm -hmm. It's been the best time. We've enjoyed having you and hope to see you next time on What's Cooking. Yeah. Have a great week. Hi, Mom Bye. and Dad. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>